this land. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. This is video part two of showcasing some Euro Jungle on PBE. Um, I've been playtesting a few more of the items. I've been having a good think about what runes to run. Um, frankly, I think when this new season comes, I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll opt to take runes that offer utility. I don't think you need to offer, you need to go into damage runes because there's so much damage in items now, it's disgusting. So I think phase rush is going to pop the hell off. Um, I'm trying to experiment with these runes at the moment because absolute focus is an interesting one. We are, our jungle clear is actually really healthy now. But we could probably get away with Absolute Focus. So I'm going to run these setups. You can see it's Legend Destroyer. Overheal, we're running double attack damage. We're running a Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, Absolute Focus, and Water Walking. Um, I'm going to play test trying to solo the red with my ghouls alone. Uh, it didn't work last time, so let's see if it works this time. I have no idea. Let's, let's hope for the best. Um, I want to go into his jungle anyway, so let's have some fun with this one. Um, but yeah, in terms of items, in terms of what we're going to run this game... Um, I might just go for an Eclipse. Um, I know in my last video, I wanted to showcase um, the gap closing spe the gap closing items. Um, and I hindered towards how ridiculously overpowered Eclipse is. Um, but I realized even if it does get nerfed, you guys would still want to know how it interacts and how and what it really does. So I suppose it's worth going. Um, problem is it's just ridiculous. It's, it's like, it's not even fair. That's how much, that's how oppressive it is. Like it, it's so strong. Um, so I was kind of not really interested in showcasing it that much, but I suppose we'll have a change of heart. So we're going to do a standard jungle clear. Exactly the same as normal, no difference. Can't ping for help already, dude. That doesn't work that way. Um, I accidentally hit the wrong minion there. That was a quick death. Right, let's go get the crop. Let's go get raptors. Jesus, you got zero CS. Holy crap. Got a lot of CS. We got a lot of experience out of that. Cool. Good, good, good. Let's see if we can just do a standard clear here. Realizing that absolute focus is probably not going to become active. Do I have it? Yeah, I have it. Okay, so that's fine. And hope for the best. So we'll, we're in the river anyway, so this should have quite a lot of extra AD on these pets. We'll run into their jungle, see what's happening. What's here? Yeah, so let's get the scuttle. Oh, I see him. Go around this way, hey? I have no idea if that's going to get it. Fuck, I wasn't even close. And they still didn't solo it, dude. Oh, well, that's very annoying, isn't it? Jesus, how much extra AD do you need? Ah, oh, we got no prio. But... Alright, let's go straight to red. Whatever. We'll have to take an early loss. I really thought that would get it. I did not expect that to not get it. But that's very, very frustrating. I'm not going to lie. That was a really cool tactic that we could use before, but it looks like it's out of the question now. Um, you're going to have to do some kind of auto attack with it, or some kind of spell cast. Okay, that's alright. We'll work it out. So you need to do some kind of spell cast with it. So you need to either land an auto, or... I'll have to go back into the replay and see what it survived at, see what the health was. Let's just go get bot scuttle. Cool, that's fine. Let's get this. He's farming a little better because I wasted a lot of time and didn't get the smite. So that's pretty much expected. Let's go get this, and then we'll go get the wolves. Oh god, I'm terrible with my timing today. Alright, not bad, not bad. Is, you know, I thought they would increase the movement speed on these. Oh, that's right. Gromp was exempted from it, didn't it? Gromp didn't actually get its movement speed increased. All the other camps did. I forgot about that. I'm just trying to get my ghouls. I just want to get enough to go back as well. 
see their jungler is mid. Running down. We've got a nice CS lead on him now. Wonder if we can gank bot. Let's run towards bot. We have a little bit of health. We don't, we're not terribly healthy. Go for the brand here, I think. That was way too close for comfort there. I'm just gonna recall on the spot. I didn't expect to one shot him from that. That's um that was quite a lot of damage. Gonna recall. We got what we needed. So let's go straight for this eclipse, alright? This is by far the strongest um mythic item in the game. At least until it gets nerfed. It's always going to be the strongest. I can't see it being um, outperformed by anything. Um, what I'm realizing is a lot of these items, they're they're very, they they generally, I think the way Riot's trying to design the items is that your mythic item should be the one that determines what you buy afterwards. So not necessarily like if you build tank, you have to build tank. But if you want to play as a tank, you need to build a mythic item that's a tank. At least that's what I think they're trying to do. Um, so what we need to work out is what kind of build do we want to play with for the next season? Um, I'm thinking I really like like looking at what these give I really like the armor penetration that this gives and Similarly, I really like the lethality that this one gives so there's a lot of really nice stats that are available I one thing I really don't like about the, um, the Gap closing ones is they all give movement speed. I wish they didn't give movement speed the only one that doesn't is Prowler's Claw, and that gives lethality. So that one there is probably the only one that I would consider going out of the three, um, if they all keep the exact same stats that they have right now. I love the feeling of lethality in the jungle though. So nice. Let's get this as well. We won't summon our ult yet. Um, usually you'd summon your ult to take the dragon, but unfortunately Yorick does not get um, the ultimate CDR if his ult is out. So let's take this and then we'll ult. They're gonna stay around. Yeah, they are. Let's make our way down towards the bottom side. It's gonna run. That's fine. Let's go get wolves. We got the dragon, so that's perfectly fine. We're in a good spot. So he's got. Epic Imp. Is that not just Ace Tech Gum Ace Tech Revolver? Did they get a new word new name? <laughs> okay. Interesting. So it looks like I don't know what he's going. If I had to guess, I'd say he's going Proto Belt, because I think that's what Proto Belt builds out of. It's gonna go straight straight to mid. Oh well done. Nice job by the blunt. I'll push this up because it's gonna be frozen otherwise. You did. Uh, we have a very healthy cannon here, so I definitely want to go for this power plating. If I hit my E, I probably could have killed him then. It's alright, doesn't matter. Let's go get the Scuttle. Scuttle Interruptors. He hasn't got his blue yet, so his blue is available right now. But I don't really want to go for it. Alright. This guy wants ganks in top lane. It's in Alawi. I'm not going anywhere near that top lane. Alawi will absolutely destroy us both. Rage. It's so cool seeing these new items. Like I, I love seeing what people are building and not knowing what they do. It's such a, it's so refreshing. Like usually when you look at top lane Alawi, you see like Black Cleaver, you see Death Dance. But now I'm seeing a Phage, and this Phage I know doesn't build into Cleaver anymore. So I'm kind of like, what the hell is he getting? Going for this. Okay, we can go for him now. Their jungle is probably in the top half. I'm hesitant towards this gank. I will go for it anyway. Should have committed with me. It was easy. That was a freebie. Okay, we can push this wave up now. That's alright, there's a cannon. 
Whenever there's a cannon, it means free gang, free tower plates. Even if she has teleport, it doesn't matter. We have a little bit of lethality anyway, so this tower is going to drop so quick. I greeted there a little bit. Oh, that was so greedy by me. I knew I had phase rush, so I wanted to get in and out as fast as I could. Um, and I knew as soon as I saw the W surround her, I knew I had a chance to um, go for my full combo. Um, so yeah, that phase rush was key there. This is why I think utility is definitely the way to go. But I don't need the damage because I can get so much damage in items. I can't E. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to stand right here. Let's go straight for the top side. He has no flash now, so this is very, very easy. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, never mind. Not easy anymore. Oh, Kale has no ult. Oh, wait, she has ult. Never mind. All right, let's just recall on the spot. We let this one summon, then we just recall down here. Unfortunately, because I missed the um, the initial E, um, it means the gank is not going to work. So we're just going to back out. So straight into Eclipse. We've officially turned into the most overpowered champion in the game. This item is so ridiculous. If you don't know what it does, it basically gives you phase rush in an item. It gives you burst damage in an item, and it gives you a shield in an item. At the same time as giving you Omnivamp, Lethality, and Attack Damage. One of the underrated stats that this item gives is the Omnivamp. I said it in my last video, there's not a lot of life still in the game anymore. As soon as they take away Death Dance, we kind of miss out on that ability to sustain. Because um, none of the, we don't really want any of the um, any of the lifestyle items. They're kind of air. Eh, they're kind of iffy. But this changes everything, dude. This item here, it gives everything we ever wanted. Let's go around mid, see if we can catch this guy out. Might be able to, might not. Down, we're going to continue down after him. Oh, cool, isn't it? Yeah, if, if you don't know why uh, this item is broken, you just saw it. That that burst, I don't know what the hell, where the hell it came from, why the hell it's in the game. Um, but yeah, it's it's absolutely right. I don't know what Riot was thinking when they came out with this item. It needs a serious, it needs so many nerfs to it. It's crazy. Uh, we can easily take this Gragas. I'm just going to go straight for this. Right here. Phase rush as well, like, I don't know. I think of the dragon. So there's a bit of inconsistencies with this thing here. It doesn't activate off ghouls. It should activate off ghouls because it says it activates off, in, off um, individual spell casts. So it should technically activate off... Um, multiple ghouls attacking the same target. You should also activate if Maiden attacks the same target. Um, but unfortunately, there's a bit of jankness in Riot's coding at the moment, and not everything is consistent. There's a lot of items that should give um, some ghoul effect, and they don't, so... We just gotta bear with it. I'm doing my best to try to get Riot to do some bug fixing. There's a lot of items I really want to work with, something like Ravenous Hunter. He's gonna be on my next purchase. That item is insane. It's so good. Let's go say hi to Lucian one more time. Start with the smite. We don't even need to do anything here. So the smite gives me movement speed with the um, Nimbus Cloak. Once I've attacked or done a single spell cast after that, I get the phase rush. So it's very hard to run away from me in this stage of the game. Like, it, there's no point at all. You might as well just fight me to death. You can see the burst is insane. But let's get this, then we'll go top. So the smite becomes really key here because we basically use it to lead off so we get movement speed boost. Well, he doesn't have his E. It's going to be down. I am the first and last of my order. When he's under tower range. He's got to make sure we dodge this. Oh, never mind. He did us a good favor. See you later. What was that flash, Kale? Not sure what that flash was, but that's all right. Let her push that wave up. 
can get the tower there. I'm gonna go get top scuttle if it's up. I think it is up. There we go, perfect. Grab this top scuttle. Our damage is just off the chops. It's so strong. Eclipse is so broken it even works on your... <laughs> Little does he know it's literally the best route, best item. Even post nerf, it'll still be the best item. Like nothing will come close to it. It just gives so many benefits, dude. It gives so fucking many benefits. Oh, Going for one more. Remember, we'll lead off with the smite first. We'll even cast on him right here. Go with the flat. Go with the E. Dead. Easy peasy. Get this. We'll recall off this because we have a lot of gold. This will be our Ravenous Hydra. Um, and after Ravenous Hydra, let's start just going for a standard... You know what? Let's not recall yet. Let's go get the Alawi as well. Why not? So we'll, land, we'll go with the E to start off with here. I don't want to get E'd. Oh, wow. Jesus, that hit me. Alright, well, if she's got ult, it's no problem. Yeah, she's got ult. Perfect. Cool. We should be able to get... Oh, tower's already dead. That's fine. Let's go back. We're gonna recall on the spot. For everything we need, let's go back. Now we can get our Ravenous Hydra, and we can also get a uh, Ninja Tabby. A Ninja Tabby, because they have Lucian, I just don't really want to verse Lucian that much. So now you're going to start to see a lot of regen, a lot of sustain. We have right now 35% Omnivant versus monsters and 25 versus champions. Because this gives 10, this gives 15. So we're going to start healing a hell of a lot. Part of the reason, that's why we run, um, that's why we run uh, Overheal. So Overheal will give us a hell of a lot of regen. Now you notice that the ghouls, or what my E is actually applying the Ravenous Hydra here. It's so good, dude. It, it's absolutely insane. It, it's so good. So eventually, what should happen, and I've confirmed it with a rider, is Yorick's ghoul should apply it. Because of the way it's worded, ghouls should apply it. There we go. And he's dead. See you later. I wish you could run... Die to that. I wish you could run... Um, approach velocity with this, but I have a strong feeling that this is way too good. Pass up, basically. How could we just about get him with a single E into W? Can't if I miss it. Oh my god, I missed everything. All right, we got the inhibitor at least. <laughs> Nobody cares. Jesus, the flame on PVE, dude. No one just wants to have fun, dude. Everyone wants to flame. Where's the Gragas gone? I don't know where their Gragas went. Did he leave? Oh, God. so many levers. All right, let's go straight to the scuttle. After scuttle, we will go for a recall. Let's heal the Maiden up, she's quite low. They're grouping up a little bit, that's fine. Next item we're definitely gonna go is Cyrilda's Grudge. I love this item. At the moment it's bugged, so you're gonna see the slow animation show. Oh, he's on FK, good. Um, you're gonna see the show anim slow animation show, but it doesn't work, okay? So ghouls don't benefit from this, your damaging ability slow by 20%. That doesn't work on ghouls, okay? You're gonna see the animation, but it still doesn't work, trust me. Um, which is unfortunate. We're still going to buy it anyway because it gives quite a lot of ability haste. It gives a lot of armor penetration. It gives everything we need in an item. The slow is just a bonus. Um, I would love to get it. Though. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, there was the E. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, he's getting wrecked by the goals. Jesus, he got destroyed. So notice that this didn't pop. So that's a complete bug. That should have activated when I landed my E on him. 
Because Yorick E is one source of ability damage, the jump is a second source of ability damage. It should definitely have popped. The fact that it didn't is just entirely a bug. A lot of damage to him then. It's alright, I don't mind taking damage. We get all our health back in the jungle camps anyway. So there's no real risk. I don't care one bit. You can see my regen against jungle monsters is just disgusting. I just get... There's so much Omni Vamp in the game. Um, on really good items for us. That's why I really want to take advantage of the Ravenous Hydra. And I really want to take advantage of the, um, the Eclipse. They're both really good sources of Omnivamp. Apart from those two, there's really nothing. Those are literally the only good ones in the game that we can utilize. Um, I, I said that there's so much. I really shouldn't have said that. Because there isn't a lot at all. It's strictly those two items. Come on, that, that looks pretty fun to play, eh? Come on, give me credit. If I can hit my move on him, I can kill him. Trying to hit a spell on people is very hard on PvE. Because the ping is so bad. Let's go see if we can say hello to their bot lane. Jungler, I should say. Oh, where are you off to? Moving speed off that. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's get... Oh, we don't have enough. Well, that's disappointing. Let's go get this, and we'll get that, and then we'll recall, and we'll get our Cerildas. So Cerildas, when it becomes a, or when it actually works, is going to be such a good item. Like it'll be so good. This will be one of the best items we'll take as Jungle Yorick. Primarily, reason the reason this works so well for us is because I don't know if you guys know this, but this when you pair it with other legendaries gives armor penetration. So if you actually look at this build, this is probably the biggest split push build that you will ever get for Jungle Yorick. This gives armor penetration. This gives armor penetration because of it. Cerildas gives 30% armor penetration. And then this gives 20% bonus armor and magic resistance penetration. It's absolutely insane. The second I complete this item, you're going to see my armor, armor penetration go up to around about 54%. It's, it's absolutely insane. Just check this out. Have a look at this. So we have 56% armor penetration and 18 lethality. That means against this Gragas that has 137 armor. That means we reduce his bonus armor by 20%. So that's, uh, it goes to 20% of 70, around about 15 or something. Um, yeah, about, tw about 15. So he takes 15 um, armor off his bonus armor. And then the remainder, we have 30% taken off. And then we ignore 18 armor on it. But it, it's just insane. It's, it's ridiculous. There's just so many reasons to run this build. Even once they nerfed it, I'm telling you, once they nerf it, it doesn't matter. It's still going to be freaking good. Oh, shit. Oh, the summon, the hourglass. That sucks. Not as much burst as I was expecting there. Did this actually activate then? Because it's on cooldown right now. Did it actually activate? I'm going to have to go back in the replay and watch that. I'm not sure if that actually activated. In terms of um, alternative items that we could go, um, Gore Drinker is, uh, an, is an item that's going to be abused a lot by tanks in the top lane. I'm fully expecting every tank in the top lane to ignore all the tank-orientated items. So all of these, no one's going to go on. Everyone that's playing a tank is just going to go this. It makes much more sense to go this than it does to go the tank items. They're going to get so much survivability, so much sustain. They're going to be the ones in the middle of the fight anyway. They're going to be using that on that active effect so much. There is so many tank items as well that give ability haste. Almost every single one of them gives some form of ability haste. Um, and some of them are quite a lot. You can see 20, 20, 10, 10. Those aren't a lot. There's 15. Um, and... I, I'm seriously expecting just about every single tank to go straight for um, that bad boy of a mythic item. It's 
Holy shit, dude. Holy shit, dude. I'm gonna send Maiden Bot. Be doing the fight. Well, it's a good idea. They had to go for the, uh, the dragon anyway. So you notice when I eat this camp, you notice the ravenous hydra attacks everything. Crazy, absolutely crazy. I can't wait for it to apply angles. It's gonna be so good. So you'll see my ghouls will split that really, really quickly. The armor penetration is gonna shred through the turret. You wait to see how much damage I do to turrets alone. Like, just check this out. Ooh. The damage is insane. Look how fast they go through the turret. It's so good. I can't wait for preseason. It's going to be the funnest time in the world. Um, after this, let's go for the Baron. Soloing Baron just got easier, boys. It's not harder at all. Don't think it's harder. It's definitely not harder. There's Phase Rush to activate to get away. Dude, I love Phase Rush with this. You get so much movement speed. So much movement speed. Let's watch this bot lane. I reckon we could just about get a solo kill down there with the ghouls. Oh, he's strong. He pretty well. So, Man Immune's another item that I'm expecting to be really good for Yorick. Um, Yorick top, Yorick jungle for everything. Um, the, they changed the way that the Man Immune is actually coded, the wording for it. I'll point out for it here. Um... So notice how it says strike an enemy with an ability or an attack. So funnily enough, it actually activates off Maiden now. So she doesn't activate this, which is really weird because it says ability strikes, but, Man but Maiden activates this. So I'm not really sure. I'm trying to figure it out. But Maiden stacks your Man Immune because she is considered an ability strike. Ghouls are considered ability strikes. If you read the text on this, it says your abilities slow enemies so maiden and ghouls are both considered abilities right so with that in mind they should actually activate the the um sorry i'm just trying to figure out what to buy now uh they should actually activate man immune and mirror mana so i can imagine selling sending four ghouls into the top lane and they're all doing a, ling a little bit of um mana conversion damage the entire time on every single attack it's kind of nutty to be honest i think the base damage is 93 um 93 damage i'm pretty sure it is per ghoul that's insane that is nuts like absolutely crazy 93 damage per ghoul is insane the problem i'm seeing with the mana um mana immune build is if you actually type in mana you put it on everything there is no ad items that give mana this doesn't actually give mana. It gives mana regen or like a mana regen ability when you auto attack. There's the only one is mana immune. So I don't know what the hell we're supposed to build in conjunction with the mirror mana because there's nothing that actually stacks your mana up anymore. It's only ability power base. I'm, I'm hoping they bring around some new items because even like the Iceborne Gauntlet, the new version of it as the mythic, that doesn't even stack. That doesn't even give mana anymore. Um, now it gives tankiness instead. Go oh, ghouls, look at them, they're getting the friggin' the Nexus turret. Oh shit. Oh my god, it took so much damage. Let's get some health back. Oh, that healing is so much. Holy crap. Oh my god, he hits me with everything. Did I get him? Oh, I was almost got him. Oh, I can't dodge a single move. Oh, the ping. Do I get full healing? All right, cool. Let's just stick around for a little bit more. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to mute this chat in a second. These guys are just so friggin'. I oh, stop typing. All right, cool. We got four ghouls. Let's run it straight down top.
Haben sie einen hoch? Ja, auf Feuer, kann man. Geil. <lacht> Poor guy. Let's send all down top. Let's run straight to mid. Alright. I'm muting these guys now. Oh, do I have to turn off PBE just to get a decent game? <laughs> the, the chat? These people are so angry all the time. Oh, can we get an IC? Alright. There we go. Raise ghouls. There we go. That should get a nice kill there. Beautiful. That was just ghouls alone. With a little bit of teammate health. Cool. Let's get this. Let's go for a nice E when we can land one. Oh my god. Phase Rush! Phase Rush took so long to activate! No! I got pathing problems there as well. In case anybody's wondering, the support items aren't worth the minion gold loss. It'd be cheaper to just... Well, you're not supposed to see it as support. That's the idea. You have way too much for CS. I don't think you... No, you're not supposed to see this with the support item. That's why it's called a support item. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. Um, as a final item, I, I think what we'd do is I really like this. You saw me in my last video, I ran this. The new cleaver is super good as well. Um, at the moment, like the other items, it's actually bugged on Yorick, so we don't get the full effect out of it. Theoretically though, we should technically get the carve effect on whenever my Miss Walkers or the Maiden attacks. So it should be a really good item. Um, but unfortunately, it's bugged. I'll buy it anyway, but you'll see, it, you, we won't see that bonus damage tick off. Um, unfortunately, it's very, very frustrating. It's, I don't know why, but for some reason, Yori keeps getting shafted with all these interactions that should be in the game, but they just are absent in every single time. It's so nice. It's so good seeing it. You could probably go for a Spirit Versage as well with this build. Spirit Versage now works on shields, so with this, it should actually be really nice. I wonder if I can solo Baron with just ghouls. No, no, no. Ah, oh, well, it wasn't going to get it, that's for sure. Um, what we'd need is we need a lot more health. But it looks like we're gated a lot by health, not by damage now, which is a very interesting change. Most of the time in the past, we didn't have enough damage to do things. But it looks more like what we can do is we can buy straight health items instead. And we'll be able to do quite a lot, like soloing the Baron with just ghouls. That would have been, that would have easily done it. If I had maybe, instead of Ravenous Hydra, I had another health item, maybe something that gave quite a lot of health, it would have been, it definitely would have worked. But you can see the effect on him, but you notice his movement speed is the exact same, 390. It's because Surreal doesn't work on him. See right now, he's still running at 390. Oh yeah, it's a bit annoying, but we'll get there, we'll get there. We've got our cleaver now, we have... 330, uh, we have 3.3k health, almost 500 AD, I don't have ult, so let's just sit back for a sec. The only thing this build misses out on is, if you end up going for the, um, you end up going for the Eclipse plus the Sterex, you don't get a lot of ability haste. He wants me to test the... Alright, I'll test it on. Holy shit, dude. Behold 
looks balanced. <laughs> Dude, Lucian does so much damage with these with his items at the moment. Holy shit, the sustain as well. That sustain is nutty too. Oh my god, he does so much damage. What has he got, actually? So he has Quick Blade. Oh, that's going to work really well with his autos and he's resetting his E. So there's one life still there. He's actually only got one life still item. That's surprising. He sustains so much. We probably need to fit in a Grievous Wound somewhere along the lines. Oh, well, that was a lot of fun. That was actually really cool. Um, as you can see, Eclipse is absolutely busted beyond belief. There's nothing that even comes close to it. It does so much damage. Um, I don't really like running it too much because obviously you can see the strength in it. There's nothing even comes close to it. Um, and I wanted to test out a few of the other ones. Let's have a look at the damage charts just quickly. Uh, we did 54k <laughs> damage and quite a lot of total damage. What about the healing? Damage healing was 19k. So we actually heal just as much as the um, Gragas and he has a lot of in, uh, inbuilt healing. So does the Aatrox. So quite a lot of healing there. Uh, let's have a look at the... Times we activate a facial, so 24 times. So it definitely looks nice. I want to go back and let's have a quick look at that um, absolute focus for the jungle clear. See how much it missed out on. I'll probably do that off, off video though. But apart from that, everything looked really good. I really like that setup. Um, I wish it showed so I'd be able to run through it again. But basically it's Eclipse with um, that slow item, one that has Cyrilda's Grudge, run a Cleaver with the Sterex. It, look, it, it's a really good set of items. I'm gonna test out a few more keys, uh, a few more rune setups and a few more item mythics, so stay tuned and you'll see that in the next video. So catch you guys later.